Academy, but one of my favorite things is about the way we learn. So things I like about Tarbia Academy is that I think the teachers value learning more than any other school that um, I've been to. I like Tarbia Academy because it's a Muslim school. What I like about Tarbia Academy is that all the teachers are very nice and the, the whole place is colorful and the bathrooms are very clean. When we learn, it's always hands-on activity. We won't sit there and write in our notebooks the whole time. We actually will go and we do something. We'll talk to people and they'll have people visit the school. Back in my old school, like the, the teachers were okay, but I feel like uh, here, uh, teachers like uh, promote like kids more into learning. I like the teachers and I like how they explain something to you if you don't understand and they don't get frustrated at you. Good. We came to Tarbia Academy because it had the elements of everything we were looking for. Um, we were looking for a school that blended the educational values, the uh, spiritual values, um, and the, the well-rounded uh, human being that we want our son to be. And we find everything here at their view. The things that make this institution very different from other institutions that we've looked into um, is that their methodology is very different. Um, they use a uh, IB learner profile. I think the environment here, the IB uh, approach to studying, uh, the learner profiles uh, has really mended well with with Ibrahim. An IB learner profile is a trait that we um, we learn here at Turkey Academy and we learn also learn how to use it. If we have all the attributes together and you learn all of them by the end of the year, you will be an internationally minded student. I like everything about IB, but one of my favorite things is how IB learner profiles. Um, because they teach us how to use it in our everyday life. For example, we do passports where we would record when we are doing that thing, like for example, we do caring, we would record every time we do something caring, and we learn how to use it all the time, not just when we're doing that passport. I like being in an IB school because we get to learn about IB learner profiles and attitudes, and it's important to know about them so that you can be a better person. And in, in a traditional school, uh, the, um, the teacher is the sage on the stage. But in an IB, or an International Baccalaureate Primary Year Program school, the teacher is a guide by the side. So the traditional approach to, to learning that we've seen at his other schools has been um, the, the kids sit down in their seats, the, the teachers have a lesson plan, they go through the reading, um, it's the teacher basically dictating um, what they're going to learn that day. Whereas here at Therbia, what we've seen is um, the students are really involved in, in, in participating in um, what they learn. Um, they, do, they, they, they take an equal part with the teacher in developing what they learn. And so um, a child being as naturally inquisitive as they are, um, and in their mind not having been framed by everything else they've seen in the world, um, I think it approaches different angles of learning and different aspects of learning that you wouldn't get just by reading straight out of a textbook. So my name is Faiza and I have three kids, two go to Therbia Academy. My daughter Samha is in fourth grade and my son Zakaria is in first grade. Some of the changes that I've seen in Samha in the past year um, have been so amazing. Um, everyone else has noticed it. She's so confident and I can tell you this is a completely different kid. Um, when she started out Therbia, she was so shy and quiet. and um, she was always just, you know, behind me and never really put, you know, nobody really got to know the real Samha. And now when we go somewhere, she's, she speaks with such confidence and she's able to express herself, um, even at home. I don't know what the teachers have done, honestly, um, but alhamdulillah, we're really, really happy. Zakaria too, um, there are certain things like, I think he's learned to be so much more organized. Um, things that, you know, the, Think putting away his clothes and his shoes. I mean, they sound like small things, but I it's made such a big difference in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, so I can't thank the school and the teachers enough. As an American Muslim, I feel like some Muslims are treated unfairly, in, like in different schools and public schools. Like you get bullied, and if you don't have the right shoes, if you don't have or the right hairline, you're gonna get bullied and stuff. And I like IB, and, and and this is Muslim, so no one judges you by how you look, how you act, or how you're dressing. 
I think being around Muslims and Muslim children and being in an Islamic institution, it will help him learn more about Islam, learn what, you know, how, how a way of living, a way of life. And we're in a very, very unique environment, unique time in, in American history, um, where there's a lot of conversation about Islam, right, where there wasn't before. And so to be able to, to talk to our children and have our children grow up in an environment where they're comfortable in what Islam truly means and is, are able to represent what a true Muslim is, is I think going to be critical for the success of our community in America and churning the narrative that's out there right now um, and, and hopefully um, creating a bridge or a gap between the perception of Islam that's there and what Islam truly is and what it can bring to the, to the community.